Had a question about Google Classroom? You've come to the right place. On your computer, open your browser and go to classroom.google.com, select your class. If you select the Classwork tab, you'll get a list of all of the assignments currently assigned to your class. Let's have a look at an assignment which has an answer template. Here I can see my teachers set me some work on rates of reaction. If I click the work, then click View Assignment, I'll be able to see all the resources they've posted. They've posted a PDF with some information and some practice questions in it. They've posted a video going through the work. And in the top right, you can see that my name is already on an assignment, a Google Doc, saying your work. If I click on this, my teacher's given me instructions to write directly into this document. They've also asked me to write in blue to help my teacher see the work easier, making feedback a lot more straightforward. Type your answers directly into the document as you were requested to do. When you've finished typing your answers to all of the questions, you can change the colour of them if your teacher has asked you to do so, and then you can click Turn In. After you've turned in, click Hand In to submit your work to the teacher. If you've got a question because you weren't sure, type it into the private comments and click Send. Your teacher may respond in due course. Now let's have a look at an assignment which doesn't have an answer template. When I click on the assignment, I can see the Your Work box is empty. This means I'm going to need to create my own Google Doc. I can see the teacher's posted some exam questions, but I can't write directly onto a PDF. I want to keep this open so I can view it, so I'm going to open it in a new tab. Then I'm going to create a new Google Doc. Click Add or Create, Create New Doc, and it will put my name on the Google Doc, assigning it to me. I need to give this work a title. It makes sense to copy and paste the one from the assignment. Put it in, underline it, and then you can start typing your answers directly into the Google Doc. And because you've opened the PDF in another tab, you can just pop back and forth between the two so you can view the questions and then write your answers down. When we're done, we'll click Turn In and then Hand In. Now let's look at what to do if you're asked to submit a picture of your work. I can see here this chemistry art project assignment has asked me to submit a picture of my work. I'm going to go ahead and complete this work by hand and then when I've finished it I need to take a picture of it. Take it from above very clearly. No weird angles please and no moving videos of your work. It's impossible for us to feed back on. Rotate any images before you send them to yourself and then you can email it to your own school account and then, once you've downloaded it and saved it on your own computer, you can upload it. Please don't email us pictures of your work, please upload them using Google Classroom. You can upload files by dragging and dropping them into the File Explorer, and if you want to check them before you submit, just click on the image. I can see it's loaded well, so I'm going to click Hand In. It could be that you need to submit a mixture of writing and drawings. Let's have a look at how to do that. Let's go back onto that chemistry art project. Except this time, let's add or create a Google Doc. Let's give this Google Doc a title. And now I should simply be able to drag and drop or copy and paste the image that I sent to my own computer and put it straight in there. But what if I need to annotate this drawing? Well, what I could do is go to the insert button at the top. I can then either insert an image, but if I want to annotate it, instead I'm going to go to drawing. I can copy and paste an image directly into the drawing tool. Then, using the tools above, I can easily annotate the drawing by adding lines and text box. This technique is especially useful if your teacher has asked you to draw a graph or annotate any kind of diagram. When I'm finished, it inserts directly into the Google Doc and I can turn in and then hand in. My work's now complete and I want to see the marking that the teacher gave me. Let's have a look at the first one that had the answer template. Go back to the Classwork tab, view the assignment. You should now be able to see that the teacher has responded to my comments in the box. I could reply again if I had further questions. I can also see in the top right that the work has been marked and my score is next to it. If you click on the work, then the teacher's comments to a Google Doc will come up on the right hand side. You now have two options. You can either reply to the comment or add corrections to the work which you could change the colour to green, just as we do in school for corrections. If you want to resubmit the work with corrections, then turn in again, and then hand in. Let's have a look at the feedback for our second assignment where we made our own Google Doc. Let's go back to Classwork, find the assignment, view assignment, and again, the work has been marked, and there's my score. Click on your work. We can see the comments on the right hand side. It might be that I have further questions before I'm able to make my corrections, so I'm going to ask the teacher a question here in the comment box. 
If you've submitted images, the feedback process is a little bit different. Let's have a look at that chemical art project again. If I simply click directly onto the picture, then I won't see any of the feedback the teacher has given me. Therefore, it's vitally important to see feedback on pictures. You right click, open in new tab, and then click on the new tab. The teacher will have highlighted sections and then given you comments on your work. Hello Greensward parents, carers, students. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. If you do have any further questions, then please do use the private comments section on Google Classroom to ask your teacher any more questions you might have. Thanks very much.